Hello guys, welcome back to a pen testers club. Today we are going to discuss about cloud web application penetration testing. So, today we are going to performing like a cloud web application penetration testing involves the accessing the security of web application hosted in the cloud environment. It includes identifying a vulnerability such as SQL injection or cross site scripting and ensuring a robot security. And it measures are in the place to protect a sensitive data. Tools like OSJAR, Burp Suit can aid in the testing process. Always seek a proper authorizations before we do the penetration testing. So, we are going to do a penetration testing on the cloud web applications like a uh, whoever hosted like in the AWS or Google Cloud. Otherwise, we just directly do the cloud hosting provider only. So just open the terminal. So I already set up the lab. So just open the terminal. You just type sudo su, enter the password. So just use net score minus i each zero. So here I found already. So just type now nmap minus a on 66. So this will enumerate the what are the open ports in the targeted uh, cloud hosting provider. So here I got it a SH and AT and as well as something that's it. So just open now Firefox. And just type 192.168.1.66. So here you can see us run your Python code online safely, securely and reliably. So once you are like hosting like your targeted websites or uh, you are anything else. So the cloud provider is like they just put like an, a servers in their warehouse or etc. things. They will charge you like for one month for hosting like $24,000 for what with one elastic IP address. So with that one elastic IP address so you can run a multiple things. Like you can provide a web application, you can do a virtualizations or etc. etc. things. So those are some type of products is already available in uh, online. Like uh, Amazon is cheat. Like they will tell like uh, first year is free. Okay, you can register with us and go. So they just they calculate first like a 750 hours. So once you go for 750 hours, you can calculate 24 into by 30. So it will become 750 hours. Okay, it will become in one month. So they just put like a strategist mindset to use only their applications like to become as a brand because we are fools to use their web applications. Including like AWS or Google Cloud Engine. So they just attract with a rat like a special offers. You go and purchase. It's okay. Everything done. After that, once you see that your bill, you get a burden part. So now we are going to do in this only the uh, cloud ho cloud host cloud cloud hosting provider uh, penetration testing of this website so from our research and average it takes the developer around 30 30 hours to configure fully working quite an environment is about like only 2.53 minutes so they just attract like this so we just see the page source or something else any useful so nothing else is useful we found so now I just come back here and just type robots.txt so here available register or login so we just take this copy this thing so come back so now I just go for login so unfortunately at this time all but one of our system having gone offline as a, as a result we are not accepting any new registration however you are already a registered user you can still sign in so to sign in we need to get a user id and password so we got it in uh, login and the same thing in the apache server so just come back here open so come back so i just paste it here with the same thing so here i got it the user id and password so just copy open the mouse pad paste it so just copy the name steve and password so enter here 
your username and come back here enter here copy and paste it so to verify that you are not robot please evaluate the following expression so if you are not uh, good in mathematics so you just use the calculator 28 plus 32 minus 3 minus 11 plus 31 is 77 so just go for signing so here we got it a uh, sign in into a pi piling turn cloud so i got it here on a hyperlink so here i got it super secret python ide so welcome to the super secret of python ide enter your python 3 program at the first input box and your program standard input in the second input box this one ideal is protected with no import os or unescapable sandbox is no import so i would like to use a python reversal in this okay so i would like to write a python program and he also mentioned this is the way at attackers won't get able to exe executor execute anything as a malicious so just open a new tab you just type python uh, reverse shell so go to a reverse shell cheat sheet first just scroll down So here I got it Python for Linux. So, so we are using in a Linux. So Python minus C. So first of all, I would like to take the second one. So I just copy, uh, come back to another thing. So you just paste it here. So I would like to remove the Python C. Then I just run. So here we are getting like this. So here I sorry I forget here. So here you need to use your targeted IP address so come back here open new tab you just type ifconfig so 65 192.168.1.65 so put as you mentioned like choice is your wish so you can put it like triple four or double four choice is your wish so then I just come back here. I just type clear netcat listener minus lvnp double four double four. So now I just execute this one. You can see here this we never get it. So I just remove this and colon, then just run. Also, I never get it. So I just copy this, cut, and I just paste it here. So I would like to write here a program. So I just type uh, what I need to type here. So I just type i equal to input exec i for output sorry i for output then I just run so now I get the reverse shell So I think I never get. So I just try here input. So now I just run.
but still be it. So I just start back. Okay. So I just copy this, cut this, and paste it. Here is a mistake. Is I just type one ninety two. That's the problem. Uh, I just type one ninety one. So I just type i equal to input then exec output is i so just run now so now i can see here netcat i got it successfully so now you just type uh, get the direct reversion directly into the system so you just type python minus c import pdy PDY span bin bash so here I got like HTTP arch line so now I just type list so we just directly go to the CD home directory so I just type list here only have py so uh, if you want to look very clear any hidden directories no there is no any hidden directory so you just type cd py so you just type list so you just type list cat user.txt you not get cat password.txt but you not get so now we would like to look so list minus lha so you just type cat password dot txt not get so now you just type cat type typing dot cc so you just need to study this one first cat typing typing dot cc so you need to observe very carefully int me std count let's pay, play a game if you can type a sentence below then i will tell you my password so the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog okay so we need to write the same as in this query so you just type now type typing so the you just need to write the same things the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog so here i got the password so just copy this one open a new tab you just paste it this one as an sh password so just open new tab you just type sh py underrate 192.168.1.66 yes and you just need to give a uh, password is you just paste the password so you have successfully logged into a password search so you just type list so you just need to uh, uh, read this one cat user.txt so you find the user user tag so now you just need to go to a cd secret stuff you just type list so you need to find any hidden directories is available list minus lha so you just need to read cat backup dot cc so you study this one again very carefully so in this once you study this one very carefully so it will do a di uh, directory path traversals so you just try to execute the uh, backup so it will ask you an a enter a line of text for a backup so i just uh, given my text as a backup as in my name so choice is your wish you can give your name so you just type yes rv backups forward slash I just give EDC password 
then I just done so you just type cat etc password so here you can see here I got it my name as whatever I done here so now I just need to get an open SSL for this to access the root flag okay of the cloud hosting of the web servers so I just type open SSL minus one so sorry open SSL password minus one salt is Alex and password so I just copy these things enter after these things copy so I just type a uh, mouse pad text so I just pasted this one as a text okay so before I'm pasting this text so I just come back here so I just my username is Alex okay so I would like to access the root flag so just come back now come back here come back to this so you just copy the first one root uh, root x and then come back and paste it here so once you paste it in the root x so you just need to come back here copy then you just paste it that's it so now what you need to do so you just need to copy the entire of these things okay here from Alex to this one so just copy so again you need to run as a backup so backup for a backup for this Alex so whatever I just written in the notepad like I just given as an Alex is username the password is a thing and a root a bin bash so I just need to give bin bash so the directory so the directory means you just need to type SRV backups EDC and password so copy so once again guys So you just copy this one then paste it here now you just type cat etc password so you can see here you have successfully added your uh, backup for the root flag access so now what we need to do is cd sorry you need to go to your uh, root directory like whatever you created in yes you Alex password is asking you just need to type your password whatever you have mentioned so you have successfully came to a root access you can see here Python to a root access so you just type list you know CD root and we just came to a root so you just type list minus LHA here you got everything so you just type cat root.txt so you got the root.txt as a flag so you have successfully done the penetration testing on the cloud hosting providers like AWS or Amazon so this is an, just an example so you try it your own guys so now let's we recap this thing so first of all for doing a cloud penetration testing so first we just the use the network discovery once we di discover the network discovery then we go for gen map once we go for the end map then we go for the uh, finding the passwords once we finding the password we go for escalations once we go for the escalations and everything and we crack the SSH passwords using our escalations methods here then once we found the SSH then we go for the secret stuff whatever available in the secret stuff we go for the privilege escalations then we got the root flag access so you try it your own guys thank you guys for watching have a great day